Thank you guys so much for tuning back. We're so excited to... Hey, hey sorry, sorry I'm late. Uh, I couldn't find my snow pants. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing snow winging today? Today you're in luck. We're doing snow winging, but you know what, Gwen? I'm sending you I'm to right Lucas back. in Canada. <laughs> You and Lucas what? are going to film snow winging. Here we go. You guys are going to see Lucas and Gwen in Canada teaching you all that you need to know about winging in the snow. Get ready. Yeah. All right, this is really taking it to another level of coldness. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. Damien sent me right here. Um, I was thinking I was kind of cold in Florida, but here I am, and now I am truly uh, knowing what cold is. So I'm here with Lucas, and today we are going to talk about snow winging and the basics of snow winging. Um, so I'm excited to talk about it, also because um, we, 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 we had a live um, recently. We yep. talked about it, and we... we started with like how like snow winging can be like just a great way to snap to start learning how to handle the wing so let's uh let's start with like snow winging what kind of condition are we looking for what kind of places we are looking for yes i mean snow winging is new to the wind sports as the winging has been emerging recently and as far as finding a spot for winging it's almost like you can almost do it virtually anywhere honestly as long as there's a breeze you don't even need a big spot like kiting because the you don't have lines, everything's close to you. Obviously, the bigger the open spot, the better the wind quality is gonna be. It's gonna be a little bit better. So what you're looking for, again, open area. Number two for snow winging, you want some fairly hard snow, something that slides easily. You don't want too much powder or too heavy because that's gonna require more wind in your wing to ride. Um, so something re relatively hard surfaces, and either ski, snowboard, or skates, whatever you want. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like on the water, the difference between, you know, wing foiling and then winging on the, on the stand-up paddle or anything that would be like on the water and have more drag. Exactly. It's, it's not going to be like nearly as fun if you were like wing in the paddle because you're probably not going to move. But don't get me wrong. I mean, if it's cranking windy, yeah, you yeah. can still get out there. Exactly, I'm just saying yeah. for the average person who wants to get into it, Pick something relatively hard just because it's going to be easier for your first day. And then as you learn from it, you can see what you, you, know, what you can do and what, what you like the most. Yeah, so if, if, that's, uh, if you live in an area where there is a, you know, winter and you, are really, you, know, you want to get into winging and you are thinking that you're going to wait for the summer to get into it, you know, it might be a good idea to get a wing already and play with it. Um, we all, always recommend that you know when people learn how to wing, they go at the beach and they, they, they learn how to use the wing first and maybe they go on the water with a stand-up paddle. So that is kind of like that level of like um, just removing the, the complexity of, uh, the, complexity of like, um, the foil. Yeah. And then now you can learn like how the wing reacts. One of the most important points that we you know, really need to talk about is are you Damien Leroy? I have a package for you. Just like that. Tajima Direct, they can literally make custom lenses for you, shipped from California, polarized, non-polarized, different colors. Whether you have Ray-Bans or Oakleys or anything, they can custom fit them. Or if you have a special pair of sunglasses that you love, you can just send them there. They'll put in the most perfect lenses ever and you'll be jamming. And just like that, like I can see. I mean, like seriously, I can see. So simple, so easy. Tajima Direct, thank you guys so much for sponsoring the video. Get yourself some lenses out there. These guys are amazing. It's that quick, Trip. done, ready to go. So now to you, like, like right now we are kind of talking about like, you know, snow winging as like, you know, a, a way to like learn winging. So maybe not the most fun, but can, can snow winging be like super fun? For sure. I mean, it, you can bring the sport to any level you want to bring it. Depending on the conditions, you can push it as far as you want. You know, on the topics you were touching on, for learning to, to, to wing, you bring it to the snow, you can learn your wind angles, your tacks, all your stuff you're going to learn on, on the water on a foil. You can all learn it, you know, previously on the snow, which is going to simplify the process a lot. But then, again, if, you know, if winging 
if you're an advanced winger and you, you see, hey, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy just cruising around in the snow, but you can go out on, you know, windier days and still have a blast. You can actually still get some air. You can climb some, I mean, I wouldn't say steep mountains, but you can climb some, some hills and something with a small elevation and you can even snowboard down kind of like you do surfing on a kite, right? So the huge possibility for winging is out there. I would say for experienced people, it takes quite a bit of wind to feel that adrenaline rush and kind of the same push you feel on the water. Um, but as for learning, it's the best way to start. It's the simplest way by far. Can you go upwind? For sure. I mean, maybe not as upwind as a foil because the foil is very effortless. There's no resistance to it. But on skis and snowboard, you can certainly go upwind. You don't have to go down. You can, you can cover some distance. You can actually like put your watch on and track how far you go. You know, like there's, like I said, it doesn't take much space. There's not much danger in terms of power lines and stuff because the wings are so close to you. So it actually opens up the possibility to, you know, go for an actual sail in the snow, come back or like do whatever you want really. But this, it, it is truly impressive how simple it is. You know, there's not much to it. It's very simple. Yeah. So there is, there is again, like we talked about the, the, the snow cuttings or that aspect of like exploring adventure. Um, and then, you know, maybe the benefit, you know, as compared to like snow cutting is that, you know, maybe it would be a bit safer. Um, because you just don't have that kite that like exactly and I think most people don't realize but you in your backyard you can almost do it anywhere that it's open you can yeah, do yeah. it like you know there's virtually no rules around winging at this point yet right so it, pretty much in your backyard you can go out and wing as long as there's space and it's very safe for the public around you like a kite there's lines you don't want to hurt someone around you but with a wing you're fairly harmless yeah all yeah. right around right yeah, so you could put your kids you could give it to your kid on day one, as long you know as they can stand on skis, they'll probably be able to move forward on a wing, which is quite impressive. So now, uh, do you know anything about like ski resort? It's 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 new, but can you go at a ski resort with a wing? What? Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's done it yet. It could be I've, a new thing. I mean, we have seen some footage like going on social media of people like ripping down. Like, I think the thing is, is ski resorts in general have pretty steep hills and to have that much wind to bring you up the hill, you know, it has to be quite windy. Well, that, that, uh, that video I'm thinking about was like a guy, downhill one, like downhill ripping and it's like. Oh, like, at that point, I think if you're ripping downhill and you build enough speed, you could for sure fly and do some crazy <laughs> jumps and stuff like this, or you can. You can do whatever. I mean, it's, it definitely gets really extreme when you throw in a yeah, hill yeah, like this because yeah. you're building speed, you're building winds, you're, you're building apparent wind in your wing. So, um, you know, as soon as you throw in a hill, a mountain, anything, you're kind of adding to your elements. You yeah, know. that's the thing about it um, that I remember somebody posting a video ripping downhill with the wing and actually there was pretty much no wind on that day, but the, the apparent wind was just so much that even if they jumped, you know, they could have yeah. some hang time. Yeah, exactly. So that speed you're going downhill, you can create that power, right? So um, I think we're definitely just scratching the surface right now what's possible with these wings. Um, it's, it's new, it's fun, it's exciting. Everyone's learning and uh, it's a great way to start. Cool. Well, I hope that you guys got inspired that, you know, if you live in, a, in an area where it's winter, it's cold, you want to get into wing falling, you are dreaming of the summer days. Well, don't wait get your wing, go out there, practice. It's gonna keep you warm uh, a lot more than just um, sitting and talking about it. So uh, get out there, you will have fun for sure. Thank you so much everybody for coming back, for subscribing, liking the video, sharing it with your friends. And we will be back again with Lucas to talk about winging on the ice, which is gonna be next level. Interesting. Yeah, so. Thank Cheers, you. man. Thank you. See you soon.